Let's look at a real gas that we're all familiar with, water vapor. Water vapor is the gaseous phase of liquid water. Now, for high enough temperature, water vapor will behave ideally. That is, we'll have a single phase at all pressures and volumes. P times V is a constant. As you lower the temperature, you'll get to a point where that P times V is a constant no longer describes the pressure volume relationship. Above that temperature, you'll always have a single phase. That is, you can compress the gas down. That phase might get very dense, but I won't see distinct liquid and gas phase. Below the critical temperature, I'll see distinct liquid and gas phases. Let's look at a temperature below the critical temperature. How about the boiling point of water? The normal boiling point is the point that water boils at atmospheric pressure. That's 100 degrees C. Where does this flat line occur at 100 degrees C? Well, I think you can guess it's going to be one atmosphere of pressure. That's the pressure where a decrease in volume doesn't involve an increase in pressure because the gas can condense into the liquid phase. We call this the vapor pressure of water for that temperature. It's the pressure of liquid water exerting into the gas phase, so it's the partial pressure of the gas phase water above the liquid for that temperature. The normal boiling point is defined as where the vapor pressure equals atmospheric pressure. It's where the vapor pressure can push back the atmosphere and the liquid to gas spontaneous transition can occur. Now, let's go to an even lower temperature. Let's go down to, say, 25 degrees C room temperature. As I go to, down to 25 degrees C, the gas will behave like a real gas, and I'll have this flat line in the PV curve, and that will occur at 31 hundredths of an atmosphere for 25 degrees C. That's near room temperature. So the vapor pressure of water at room temperature is 31 hundredths of an atmosphere. So that's the partial pressure of water above liquid water at room temperature. So the total pressure, if the sample is open to the atmosphere, you'll have an atmosphere of the atmospheric gases, nitrogen and oxygen, and 31 hundredths of an atmosphere of water vapor pressure. So the vapor pressure can be defined as the pressure at which the gas spontaneously condenses for a given temperature, or it can be defined as the partial pressure of the gas above a liquid sample.